Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new video. My name is Prakar. I'm a software engineer working remotely for this Silicon Valley based company, Safety Wing. And today in this video, I want to talk to you guys as to why software engineering and software development might just be the best career for you to opt in to make 100K every single year. And that too, even if you're someone who hasn't written a single line of code ever yet. Or if you're someone who's already studying software engineering on their own, either from like online courses, going to a coding bootcamp or attending college. Amazing. I think you're on the right path and you have chosen one of the best fields to be in right now. I understand that coding might seem scary and you might be fearful, especially if you're someone who hasn't again come across code, haven't like even written a single line of code yet. But trust me guys, after having been a software developer for about four years now, I have worked with multiple people who hadn't gone to college or who hadn't like even started in the tech field at all. Let me give you three examples. The first person, Michael, I met him at my first job when I was a front end developer working for this. Um, uh, marketing and uh, ad agency in Chicago and uh, Michael was a nurse when he started out but then he found interest in coding and then he just switched into the career after taking a coding boot camp for about three months he was so passionate that he was able to get a job right away after the coding boot camp for about eighty thousand dollars a year the second person I met was Addy and she was an HR person this was the second job I ever had in my life as a software developer also in Chicago and as I told you Addy was an HR person but then found interest in coding and then she learned uh, Ruby on Rails and uh, JavaScript from one of the coding boot camps in Chicago and then transitioned into the role of a software engineer at the company that I was working at and even though she had been in the career for about two years after starting her career as a software engineer she was just an amazing programmer and coder you know I could tell from her passion from not just like doing her own work but also trying to reach out to help others and she even mentored me someone who had gone to college for software engineering to be specifically in this field and I just learned so much from her even though she had never gone to a proper school for software engineering and she was just an HR person to begin with the third person is actually someone who I'm working with right now they are also a contractor working remotely for safety wing and I think he's not even 25 yet like he's still in his early 20s and he started from the like early years of safety wing as a front-end developer and he basically taught himself how to code and then reached out to safety wing you know conveying his passion as to how much he loved coding and building amazing things and how he wanted to help create a bigger impact with the mission and the vision we have at safety wing and the next thing you know, he was hired and already making about $120,000, you know, USD, like by working from anywhere in the world. So just by three of these examples alone, I believe that there's just so many people out there who have taught themselves how to code or have learned somewhere from online courses or coding boot camps that have begun a successful career in software engineering, making amazing money. Okay, now that we understand, it is very much possible for you to become a coder and a software engineer. Let's talk about what could be some of the resources or what could be some of the paths that you could take to learn how to code, program and build software. The first path, I think, is the easiest one to start with. Teaching yourself how to code. Start by watching YouTube videos, you know, follow some tutorials just to get taste of coding and start to understand what this whole coding thing is about because you want to know if this is something that really interests you you, intrigues you and motivates you to work in this field but also you want to check if this is something you want to do for a longer period of time so this is a great opportunity for you to start out with just YouTube tutorials and once you feel like you are a little bit more serious start taking some online paid courses you know spend $30 spend $50 $100 and invest in yourself in your own education to start with some sort of courses there's plenty of Python courses out there there's plenty of JavaScript courses out there there's plenty of JavaScript courses out there and you can pick and choose which course to start out with whatever interests you first and then see how, what coding is all about and from there on you can you know go to a coding boot camp if you want to get more serious about your learning and the real learning guys really happens when you start to build projects and start to implement these things into your own projects and experiment with what you have learned and harness the skill to build something impactful in real life and that will do two things for you first of all 
you will have real examples to show to people that you want to work with and to show to your employers, contractors, or the people that you're trying to get a freelance gig from. And you can show them that this is the work that you have done by the things that you have learned. And it will only help you to build confidence, more confidence in your own self to be a software developer and be successful at this career. The traditional college route. I feel like even that is not necessary anymore. If you want to go to college, spend four years and have a mix of, you know, culture and surrounding yourself with smart people and want to do some fun things and learn things outside of coding as well, then going to college might be great for you. And getting a degree from a college will definitely for sure guarantee that you will find a job. But I feel like at this point, there's just so many online resources available and there's just so many many other cheaper options available for you to learn effectively to again find gigs that are equally as worth it that you might find after going to a college and after doing the coding boot camps and after finding some work once you get started in this career if you feel that you have some missing gaps in your knowledge or if you want to get into a specialized field like cybersecurity, then you can go to college to pursue those things but there's already so many resources available online that you can go by yourself and learn those things and start to find jobs from the things that you've learned. All right, so maybe now you're already two months down on your learning path or have gone to a coding bootcamp and graduated. Where can you find job? Where can you find work? How can you find clients or employers to start, you know, your career? Now there's two paths you can take here. You can take the freelancing route or you can go the traditional route of finding a job and going full time. I would recommend that you go the freelance route first, especially if you are someone who is self-taught or someone who has gone to a coding boot camp because usually I find it it's easier for people who have gone to college to find full-time gigs you know right out of college because they have a degree to showcase that they have the necessary skills to actually do the work but if you're someone who who is like teaching themselves it might be actually beneficial for you to create your profile on some freelancing website like Upwork, Fiverr, Top Talent and like there's just so many more now where you can find work and start small you know you can find opportunities in the e-commerce world like doing WordPress work or Shopify work and these jobs are already pretty good for you to hop on take advantage of what you have learned this is such a like vast field that there's no one answer for everyone you can go find a remote job or you can find remote contract work to build projects build websites and even you know look for opportunities in your own locality go talk to some of the local businesses in your town it could be a restaurant Restaurant. It could be uh, a gym that needs a website or needs a mobile application to manage their clients and things like that and pitch it to them. And once you have one, two, three or four websites under your belt or applications under your belt, once you have some of these successful projects done, you will be more confident in your own work, in your own skills and your abilities than to go out and find bigger projects to do, command higher and higher pay and deliver bigger results or go again the full-time route and find a full-time job for yourself. But you might be fearful or you might have doubts and things like that. And yes, coding is a hard skill, but I believe if you commit to this and if you dedicate yourself to a path of learning, building, experimenting, and ever evolving, you will find success in this field. And no matter who you are, you know, you could be someone who is in construction jobs, or you could be someone who is a bartender or a barista making 30 to 50K a year, and you want to double or triple your income in the next uh, year or two. I feel like this is a field that you could consider because I truly believe that tech and software development is something that is available to everyone to create a good life out of as a career. Just with the availability of information that is out there on the web and how much cheaper it has become to access good information, good courses and good knowledge, I truly believe that you can invest a little bit of time and have patience to see through maybe, you know, six months, a year or two and see if this is a career for you. It is a hard skill, but if you dedicate yourself, you will 
will find success because if you just put your heart and mind to something and keep learning and keep trying to grow network and actually do the work you will be successful eventually and this is a great career again to be in because there's just so much more room to grow there's just so much more freedom and it's an ever-evolving field so you can keep finding new opportunities to work on keep working on your skills keep building your portfolio and keep commanding higher prices for the work that you're doing as you grow and evolve in your career as a software engineer so if you think that coding and software development is something that you might be interested in i would honestly encourage you to take a leap of faith take a chance trust in yourself and make the move commit to it and i kid you not you won't be disappointed in the world of opportunities that software development and coding can open for you if you like the video guys please drop a thumbs up it really helps me reach out to more people and grow my channel if you're new here consider subscribing i'll be creating a lot more content on software engineering on my lifestyle as to how i am going about my own career as a software engineer if you want to stay updated on my future videos click that bell notification icon so that you're notified whenever i release a new video and i'll catch you guys in the next video all right have a good one